I'm Dr. Max Heimlich from Steubner Airline Veterinary Hospital, and um, I am going to talk just briefly a little bit about the COVID-19 coronavirus, because that's a, a thing that everybody is very, very concerned about. And I'm going to kind of tell you how we're handling it here at our veterinary hospital. Um, first, we try to find the, we follow the guidelines of the um, CDC and that is with cleaning all surfaces that people touch. And we're doing this on a frequency that has increased tremendously over what we've done in the past, even though in the past we've always cleaned the rooms immediately after people have been in there and their pets, but now we're cleaning doorknobs, we're cleaning doors, we're cleaning the front door, we're cleaning the countertops, we're cleaning uh, pens that people may have used and we're cleaning all of this with solutions that the CDC has recommended. So we're trying everything we can to prevent people from coming in contact with the virus particles. Now the virus particles are spread through you know coughing or sneezing or through micro particles of fluid from a person. So it's not a truly airborne disease. That's why they talk about the distance between people of six feet, um, because you're less likely to come in contact with it. So by cleaning all these surfaces, we are cleaning the virus particles off and killing them if for some reason somebody should have the virus and not be aware of it. There's always questions about, is your dog or your cat or your pet subjected to the virus? Well, they don't know specifics yet, but th there's been one case, and I believe it was in Japan, that a patient who had the COVID-19 virus and was very ill with it had a small dog. That dog did test positive for the virus, but the dog itself never became ill. And so far, the people who took the dog after the individual went into the hospital None of those people have tested positive for the virus. So at this point, the CDC does not feel that a dog can directly transmit to a person. However, there are ways a dog or your pet potentially could transmit it if you have the COVID-19 virus. And that is that if you are ill with the virus and tested positive and you love on your dog, you are going to get microparticles of saliva, um, nasal drainage, whatever it is on the dog. So that your family members would then take the dog and love on it, so they would pick those particles up from the dog. So if you test positive for the COVID-19, it is by far best that you do not have any contact with your pets within your house. You will be much better off um, allowing your, your family members to be, uh, you know, take care of the dog and, and just you just stay away from the dog or the cat. Now, the University of Florida has found that bathing with specifically Dawn will eliminate the virus from the hair of pets. So that's the second thing that a people can do is they can actually pay, they, bathe their pets in Dawn if some of, one of the family members has the COVID-19 virus. Um, we're all on a continuous basis of monitoring things at our veterinary hospital. We're of course asking all employees not to come in if they even think they feel bad. Um, and we're waiting for more recommendations out of the CDC, what we should do, anything else that we can do. So at this point, um, we're trying to make everybody realize that, you know, life does have to go on, but we want to be very cautious and we want to make sure that we're diligent in cleaning and washing our hands. And I think the CDC has said that over and over, wash your hands all the time. One more thing would be that if somebody feels that they're not feeling well and they feel their pet is ill, we definitely don't want you to come into the hospital. If you will call the office, then we will, if you would we'd prefer that you have somebody else bring your pet in, um, and then we would take the pet from the car into the hospital and do exam, and we would be very cautious 
In fact, if we felt there was a problem, we might even go ahead and bathe the dog with Dawn so that every, you know, everybody around is safe. Um, so we would ask that if you don't feel well and you feel your pet needs help, that you would definitely not come in yourself. It would be better for everybody involved. So we're doing the very best we can and we will uh, be back in contact with you as soon as we know anything else.